Hello everyone, welcome to Educators Plus and in today's video we will be discussing a method of data collection that is projective techniques. So now what is projective techniques? So basically it is um, or we can uh, say so basically projective techniques are also known as indirect interviewing techniques for the collection of data and it have been developed by a psychologist to use the projection of respondents for inferring about underlying motives, urges or intentions which are such that respondent either resists to reveal them or is unable to figure out himself. So in projective techniques, the respondent uh, in supplying information tends unconsciously uh, you know, to project his own attitudes or feelings on the subject under study. So basically now let's discuss some of the important projective techniques. So these are uh, as follows. The first is the word association test. So basically these tests are used to extract information regarding such words which uh, have maximum association. And in this sort of test, the respondent uh, is asked to mention the first word that comes to the mind uh, without thinking. So as the interviewer reads out each word from a list, if the interviewer says cold, so the respondents may say hot and the like ones. So the general technique is to use uh, a list of as many as 50 to 100 words. Then the next uh, type is the sentence completion test. So basically these tests happen to be an extension of the technique of word association test. Under this, the information may be asked to complete a sentence to find the association, uh, right? So this technique is also quick and it is easy to use, but it often leads to the analytical problems, particularly when the response happens to be the multidimensional. Then the next is story completion test. So such tests are basically a step further wherein the researcher may contrive stories uh, instead of sentences and ask the information to complete it. So the respondent is given uh, just enough uh, of a story to focus his attention on a given subject and he is asked to supply a conclusion to the story. Then the next is a verbal projection test. So basically these are the tests wherein the respondent is asked to comment on or to explain what other people do. For example, why do people smoke? Uh, so answer may reveal the respondent's own motivations. So yes, these were, so yes, this was all for today's video. I hope you find this video helpful. Then please do like, share and comment and stay tuned for the more upcoming videos. Thank you.